Hello dear friends. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button right now. And if you've ever had an experience driving in snow, on ice, or faced a winter accident, make sure to share it in the comments. Winter isn't just a season of beauty and peace, behind it lies one of the most complex physical challenges for drivers, black ice. Black ice is an extremely thin, transparent layer of ice that forms on the road's surface. Unlike regular snow or visible ice, the human eye can hardly detect it. This dangerous layer usually forms when the air temperature is slightly above freezing, but the road surface itself remains below zero. In such conditions, water vapor, fog, or even exhaust from vehicles can freeze upon contact with the cold road, creating a surface that's more slippery than glass. According to research by the World Transport Organization, the loss of traction on black ice can be up to 90% lower than on dry asphalt. For this reason, even advanced systems like ABS, ESC, or all-wheel drive, AWD, become almost completely ineffective against black ice. But why are chain reaction accidents so common in winter? The answer lies in three main factors, slower human brain reaction in cold temperatures. Poor visibility in fog and snow. Lack of safe distance between vehicles. Studies have shown that at sub-zero temperatures, the brain's reaction speed can decrease by up to 25%. This means that if you normally make a decision in half a second, in cold conditions it might take nearly one full second, and that one second can be enough for a disaster to occur. In countries like Canada, Norway, Russia, and Finland, the highest number of winter accidents are recorded. Interestingly, however, the most fatalities occur in countries with milder winters, such as Germany, Poland, and the United States, because drivers often underestimate the danger. Advanced governments use innovative methods to combat this phenomenon, thermal sensors on road surfaces that activate warning signs when ice forms. Smart roads in Japan equipped with heating elements beneath the surface to prevent freezing. In Norway, special mixtures of salt and calcium chloride are used, capable of melting ice even at minus 30 degrees Celsius. But in countries without these systems, the driver's awareness is absolutely critical.
I'm gonna turn up here and see how some of these side streets are. An aware driver knows that the risk of black ice is highest when temperatures range between minus 2 degrees Celsius and plus 2 degrees Celsius. They understand that bridges, shaded roads, routes near lakes, and highways freeze faster than other areas. Most importantly, a cautious driver always reduces their speed by 30% to 50% below the usual limit. Дороги в снегопад. But is cold the only cause of slipping? No. Even a thin layer of salt or leftover antifreeze on the road can create a strange mixture that behaves like cold oil. In such cases, vehicles can slide even at low speeds. Beyond the physics of roads, the human body also enters a semi-dormant state in winter. To preserve heat, the body redirects blood from the hands and feet to the heart, which reduces motor precision. This is why drivers in cold conditions often turn the steering wheel more slowly or apply brake pressure unevenly. Technology can provide warnings, but only human awareness can save lives. Thanks for staying with us until the end of the video, until the next one, stay warm and stay safe.